Good morning, Rock High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> just a couple announcements. Um, really just one. Make sure students are checking your wrap workshops. Uh, silent reading will be, be back in its normal location. Uh, just make sure that you guys are checking those assignments, uh, students. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about strength. In today's world, we greatly admire physical strength. Bodybuilding has become very popular. Strong, muscular heroes will fill our movie screens. Most of you guys will probably see movies this weekend um, involving you know, very strong um, superheroes. Athletic strength and endurance is celebrated everywhere. But being a strong human goes beyond physical strength. It means being strong emotionally and mentally. How we... How we will choose to use our strength is an important question to ask ourselves. Henry Ward Beecher, American clergyman and writer, once said, Greatness lies not in being strong, but in the right use of strength. Today, take the time to think about your strengths and how you use them. Do you use your strengths to support others or to hurt them, to contribute to or to take from the world around you? Then remember the words of Henry Beecher Stowe, excuse me, <laughs> other history person, words of Henry Ward Beecher, and make right use of your strengths. And if you're not feeling strong, I've preached it and I'll continue to do it, come see somebody. If you're, you know, we talk about your emotional and mental strength. If you're feeling weak and you need to come talk to somebody, come find myself, one of the other assistant principals, one of the counselors. We love you guys. We want to, we want to come talk to you. Teachers, that's for you guys. Staff, if you guys hear this as well. I hope everyone has a great weekend with something to think about. This is Mr. Schaefer. Make it a great day or not. That choice is yours. Good morning, Ryle. I'm Smitty. I'm Schmitty. And these are your morning announcements. Wow, already Friday, Jake. It's already fun Friday. It's already fun Friday. Yes, it is. Yes, yep, it is. Yep, 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 yep. It's a man. great day to do stuff. Really? Like what? Whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. End game. End game. End game. Yes, so. end game. We're actually, we're going to see that tomorrow, Jake. We are, we are. I'm pretty excited. 3.30 yeah. today. Yeah. Mr. Murphy says he's going to see it at 3.30 today. Good, yeah. good for Mr. Murphy. Yep. Trying to, well, yep. the best way to start off a fun ride day. Do you know what that is? I don't know, Jake. I think you should tell me. It's revealing the riddle. It is revealing the riddle, yes. We're going to reveal the riddle. Okay. Reveal the riddle. So, Jake, you want to start so, us off through the honors? We're going to do like four or five. Wait, should we say the answer first? Well, yeah, we should say the answer right now. It was honor among thieves. Honor among thieves. Yeah. So we're going to pick out um, four or five winners. Let's see which one of you smarty pants has got it right. You got the first one? And this answer is correct, and it is Braden Lyons. Braden Lyons. Braden Lyons. a boy. All right. Let me, let me pick another one here, Jake. Daniel Zirkel. Congratulations, Daniel. Congratulations, Daniel. There are just so many answers in there, it's hard to there pick are. one. There are. It really it? is. you got you to fumble your hands around a little bit, don't you? This one is also correct. It says state champion. Uh, I'm sorry. It says Maddie Shear. <laughs> Maddie Shear, congratulations, Good Maddie job, Shear. Maddie. So yeah, everybody go see Mr. Schaefer and get your prize. Good, when you good can. reminder, Jake. Good reminder. Yep. Michaela Mann. Good job, Michaela. All right, and let's good do job, one, we'll do one more, Jake, just because we have so many answers. This one is Jameson Steel Flex. Jameson Steel Flex. Jameson Steel Flex. <laughs> Good job, Congratulations, Jameson. Mr. Steelflex. <laughs> Atta boy. All right. Well, Jake, you know, good riddle and everything, but you know what I like to follow up a riddle with? What do you like to follow up a riddle A with? random joke a that I flip to. <laughs> a random joke. And choose in the next couple seconds. Okay, how many seconds? Give me three. Three. Three would be Tuesday because it's the third day of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a now, Jake. All right, Jake, for All our right. fun ride, eh? Yeah. What animal pouts when it has to go to bed? I'm not sure. 
a wine oceris. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice little play on that words. That was yeah, good. I yeah. like that one. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Well, wow. without further ado, let's uh, let's start Some with announcements. These, uh, these announcements. Mandatory clinics to try out for the Ryle Dance Team are April 30th through May 2nd from 2.45 to 5 o'clock, and tryouts are on May 3rd. Registration is currently open for the District Summer Credit Program. If you are interested, please go to the Boone County website. Registration closes May 17th. Any student in grades 9 through 11 interested in applying for the National Honor Society will need to attend a meeting in the Media Center on Thursday, May 2nd during RAP. There's a link on the Ryle homepage to sign up for the meeting. Three scholarships have been added to the Ryle Guidance webpage for seniors. Be sure to check out applications for free money. One scholarship applies specifically to career and technical schools. Also, we have a new special offer for all seniors who are bilingual. If you are a senior and can speak another language as well as English, you might be the perfect candidate to graduate this year with the distinction of the seal of biliteracy. Uh, please take advantage of this opportunity as it's the first year it's being offered uh, at Boone County Schools and talk to Mrs. Mark in room 221 as soon as possible for additional information. Thank you. Now let's stay tuned for some special announcements. Good morning, Ralph. We're here to announce that next week we'll be having Spirit Week in honor of prom. Okay, so Monday we'll have a PJ day. PJs must be school appropriate, and all other outfits for Spirit Week will be posted in the main lobby. Anyway, remember that all outfits must follow the dress code. We'd really appreciate it if you guys would participate. Thank you, Ryle. And here's some more announcements, Ryle. Any student interested in becoming a football manager or help with video or filming, Please see Coach Engler in room 104 or come to the field house after school. This can get you service hours and colleges do offer scholarships for these positions. Do you enjoy volleyball? Do you think you have the skills to play? Then prove it. There will be a co-ed volleyball tournament on Friday, May 3rd. Pick up registration forms in 207 or 119. On Monday, April 29th, juniors and seniors will be voting for prom court in their Monday rap classes. If you do not if you do not have a rap class, please stop by 206 to cast your vote by the end of the day on Monday. Prom tickets and information for prom night will be handed out in your English class on Thursday, May 2nd. If you do not have an English class, you may pick up your ticket in room 206. If you have any issues with your ticket, please go to room 206. The first open gym for boys basketball will be held Monday from 5 to 7 in the afternoon. You must have a physical on file to participate. Also, there's a volunteer opportunity uh, at the Chick-fil-A Carnival today. Come see Miss Steph in room 138 for more details. Thank you. And, and that's, that's how the cookie crumbles. crumbles. Have, Have a great, great fun Ryle. ride, Ryle.